Hi guys, I'm Dr. Zain from zainspace.com. Welcome back to my channel. One of the biggest problems with having low self-confidence or low self-esteem is that you hold back. You hold back in so many ways and that is not what we are designed to do. So you can hold back by, let's say, you know you have something, you have a talent, you know you are good at something. Um, in the case of low self-esteem, in fact, you do not know that you are good at that thing. But let's say you, you, you might be good at something and because somebody else isn't comfortable with you displaying that part of yourself i.e. Your, your light is trying to shine but they are not comfortable with the light and they say your light is too bright so what do you do you dim your light just a little bit you hide that part of yourself you hide that talent that you have now you might have enough confidence to know that you have this talent and that you are good at it but you do not have just enough you do not have enough confidence you do not have enough of a self-esteem to say you know what even if they are not comfortable with this part of myself that is their problem not mine and it's their job to work on their stuff it's not my job to make them feel comfortable by dimming my light and so i'm going to shine my light anyway as a matter of fact i'm going to tune up that light and if they you know they are comfortable they can get some shades or they can just walk away it is not your, your fault i mean it is not your business what how other people feel about the talent you have or about the skills you have or about the strengths you have it is not your business how it make how comfortable it makes other people what is your business is you working on your strengths and your talents using them to help people to help the world and making sure you do not hold back on yourself and if you do that reg on a constant basis or if you do that at all then you understand that there's a part of yourself there's a part of yourself as in that you still need to work on there's a part of your self-confidence that you still need to work on another way in which you can hold yourself back if you struggle with these things is from pursuing your dreams or from from even having dreams in the first place you can hold yourself back from you know achieving things we know that people who struggle with low self-esteem actually avoid competitions hello i'm one of those people or i used to be one of those people if you're one of those people raise your hand up some people need to raise two hands up and two legs up it's un understandable it's there it's it's you know it's natural we've been there if you struggle with these things it's just a sign that you struggle with the relationship you have with yourself and that that is something you have to work on and that is a goal you can aim for that you can say okay i'm going to work on my self-confidence so well that i will make sure that i become comfortable with having competitions now you know it, it will happen for you it, it might happen for you or you might just realize that you actually are not interested in competitions at all not because you hate it or not because you're afraid of competitions or not because you think oh I, I'm, I'm definitely going to lose this competition and then work on making yourself lose that competition whenever you actually do try to do it. Not because of all of that, which are signs that you actually struggle with your low self-esteem, low self-confidence and your relationship with yourself. But you might actually work on your confidence and all of that and then realize that you actually do not care about competitions and that would be fine. I just needed to make that, um, that caveat because there are some people who actually do not care about competitions. I'm one of those people. Um, before, the reasons I hated competitions was because I, or the reason I hated competition before was that I always, there was this part of myself that would tell me, you're going to lose, so don't even bother. And on the few occasions when I would still try to do it, I would work on making myself lose, no matter how well I know how to do that thing. But after doing a lot of work and arriving, you know, far from where I started, then I, I still, right now, I still do not care about competitions, but it's not because I think I'm going to lose. It's because I just do not care. Like, I think life already has so much competition in the first place. Like, we do not need to turn games into competitions as well. We can just enjoy the games or enjoy whatever it is we're doing. And, you know, I mean, if there's anything or anyone you want to compete against, let it be against yourself. You're competing against, you know, where you were before where you were yesterday today you are comp tomorrow you'll be competing against where you are today um and that that's just my personal opinion but in general there are lots of people who love competition and that's completely fine you just want to make sure that you are not holding yourself back from achieving things that you would like to achieve if you like competition you want to make sure you're not holding yourself back from entering competitions and you know gauging your your skill how well 
you know whatever it is you believe you know or how much you've achieved and how much how much farther you still have to go stuff like that you want to make sure you're not holding yourself back so these are just some of the things that people do or these are just some of the ways in which we hold ourselves back when we have low self-esteem when we have low self-confidence when we struggle with our overall relationship with ourselves there are so many ways in which we hold ourselves back in any case when it comes like i already said having dreams in the first place or pursuing those dreams having you know relationships amazing I, I think i've mentioned it several times on this channel where you you want to um you know approach somebody for instance but you feel like that person won't like you so you go and you approach somebody that you're not as attracted to or that you're not as interested in because you feel like um you know if the there's rejection from that angle then it won't hurt as much as it would hurt if you went to the person you are most um attracted in and i've given the example of jody miller um who mentioned in her book that she did the same thing so many of us actually experience stuff like this and we just need to learn to work on our relationship with ourselves and to understand that life is not about holding back but life is about pushing ahead and going for what you want and one of the ways in which you can help yourself to do that is by a taking action recognizing that you you feel that way you have that issue you struggle with this and take action whenever you begin to hold yourself back and b working on your relationship with yourself and you know once you begin to work on your relationship with yourself and you and that improves then it would be easier for you to have dreams pursue those dreams you know do anything else you know stand and shine your light in the face of people who do not feel comfortable because they recognize that you have a really bright light and they don't know how to you know shine their own lights let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if there's anything you'd like to add please let me know um if you have any questions regarding self-confidence self-esteem put it in the comment section below or you can send it to me you will find ways to contact me in the description box below um if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the dreaded notification bell so you get alerted whenever i post and thank you guys so much those of you who have subscribed to my channel um thank you for sharing this video with your friends and family and i will see you next time